Hello, children of God. My name is Yeni. I trust you are doing well. Thank you for joining me again today. I appreciate you taking the time to be here. Thank you for everything you do for me and for this ministry, your prayers and the different ways that you support this ministry. Thank you so much. God bless you. If this is your first time watching my videos, welcome. I welcome you. There couldn't have been a better time for you to be here and connect. I believe the Lord himself led you to this video because he wants to expose some things to you. He wants to expose the schemes of the enemy and bring you a timely message of guidance and protection. Praise God. So you're welcome. God bless you. This is an urgent message and I'm going to jump right in. The Lord told me to pray for you. He told me to pray against planned untimely death. Planned untimely death. Emphasis on the word planned. Which means there are deliberate schemes and assignments from the enemy aimed at cutting lives short before their time. These are not random acts but calculated plans designed to bring a premature end to journeys. For someone listening to me right now, you may not understand this prayer right now, but something will happen around you between today and Wednesday that will make you understand why God is leading us to pray against this and what he intends to accomplish with this prayer. Praise God. I've been praying for you, but I want us to make this a prayer of agreement. I want us to make it a prayer of agreement. The Bible tells us in Matthew 18, 19, that there is power in the prayer of agreement and that it moves God to act on our behalf. So as I pray, I want you to stand in agreement and connect with this prayer by faith. Also comment your statement of agreement in the comment section of this video. It could be something as simple as, I agree, or just amen. Heaven recognizes this, and you will witness the manifestation of God's deliverance in your life, in your family, in the lives of your loved ones. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your protection over us. Thank you for what you have revealed to us and the instructions that follow. Father, thank you. Thank you so much. Lord, we confess any sin that may have opened a door for the enemy. We repent for any actions or attitudes that may have given the devil a foothold. We recognize that these sins could have created vulnerabilities that the enemy seek to exploit, to hurt and to harm us. Father, we ask for your cleansing and forgiveness. Lord, we ask for your mercy. And we close every door that may have been opened. Father, purify us, renew us, and protect us from every plan of darkness in the name of Jesus. We'll come before you with boldness and faith today, declaring that no force of darkness shall have dominion over our lives. We'll stand against these diabolical strategies with the authority given to us in Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus, and we declare that these plans this plans of the enemies, this evil strategy, be, be, be condemned in the name of Jesus. We cancel those plans. They will not come to fruition in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says we will not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. We take authority over every plan of untimely death that seeks to cut our lives short. In the name of Jesus, Father, I command every demonic scheme the sign to steal, to kill, and destroy, to be utterly defeated and rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. Lord, we invoke the power of your divine protection over us today. 
Your word says that you are our refuge and fortress, our God in whom we trust. Father, we trust in your promises and we call upon your mighty hand to shield us from every attack of the enemy, to shield our family and our loved ones from every attack of the enemy. Let your protective hedge be drawn around us and our household and our loved ones and block every arrow of death and destruction that aims to harm us in the name of Jesus. Today we release the consuming fire of the Holy Spirit to burn away every cost and every assignment of untimely death in the name of Jesus. Your word says, Father, that you are a consuming fire. So right now we'll call forth that fire to destroy every plot and plans of the adversary in the name of Jesus. Let your fire cleanse our lives. Let it cleanse our homes. Let it cleanse our places of work and our surroundings from every element of danger in the name of Jesus. By the authority given to us in Christ Jesus, we bind every spirit of death and destruction and cast it out from among us in the name of jesus we proclaim that no weapon no weapon formed against us shall prosper I repeat that no weapon that is formed against any one of us shall prosper. I declare that every weapon of the enemy designed to end our lives prematurely is now rendered powerless and ineffective in the name of Jesus. We we'll speak forth the life-giving power of God into every area, every area of our lives where death has been planned. Ah, Father, your word says that the thief comes only to steal, to kill and destroy but jesus came that we may have life and have it to the full so today we claim that abundant life for ourselves for our family and our destinies in the name of jesus i command every threat of death to be cancelled and destroyed in the name of jesus every threat of death our father against our household and our loved ones and everything that you've given to us be cancelled in the name of jesus lord we dispatch your angels the host of heaven to guide us and keep us safe from all harm in the name of jesus your word says that your angels oh lord encamp around those who pray and you deliver us so we summon these heavenly warriors to encycle us right now to protect us from every form of danger and ensure our safety in every situation in the name of jesus father we declare that every trap that is set by the enemies to bring about untimely death, be exposed, be dismantled and destroyed in the name of Jesus. I declare that we will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. We declare that all the plans of the wicked against us be thwarted and turned back upon themselves. In the name of Jesus, let the enemy fail utterly. Let them fall into their own pits. I repeat, Father, let let them fall into their own pit. Father, we ask, oh God, for an outpouring of your mercy and your grace to extend our days and shield us from sudden calamity. In the name of Jesus, the scripture says that you make known to me the path of life, that you fill us with joy and in your presence with eternal pleasure. There is, there is, it is at your right hand. So we embrace this promise and we ask, Father, for your favor to surround us like a shield. Lord, let it ensure our protection and longevity. In the name of Jesus, we decree, O oh God, that your promises for our lives come to pass and we will witness your miraculous intervention. We trust that your plan for us is good and we will see your promises fulfilled in our lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, we seal this prayer with a power 
of your blood. The power of the blood of Jesus will declare our victory over every form of death and destruction, knowing that our lives are secured in your hands, Father. As we walk, oh God, in the light of your guidance, in the light of your presence, we claim divine preservation and protection. Let every plan of the enemy be turned into a testimony of your grace and power in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the victory and the numerous opportunities you will bring our way, even this week, that instead of death, in place of death, Father, you will bring us joy, that you will bring us opportunities to celebrate, that the enemies will be ashamed, that they will be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Your word says that you disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. We stand on this promise, O oh God, for our lives and our loved ones, O oh God. And I pray and declare that the plans of the enemies will not come to pass. It will not happen. None of us will die. No member of our families will die. No loved ones of ours, O oh God, will die or go missing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we know that you have heard us and we will enjoy good and long life and good health. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.